I'm a head of a dairy equipment company for about 40 years. And I also have a dairy of my own, and we milk about 2,500 cows. And so we design a lot of equipment that we use on our own dairy. We prove it at our own dairy, and then we take it out to our customers. Well, several of our, our uh, products that we've had is a teat scrubber that we've designed about six, seven years ago. It's got um, a brush system that cleanses the cow's teat. It also applies the disinfectant. That's eliminated a lot of the towels and the washers and dryers and created more consistency in the parlor and better stimulation for the animal. And it's on a timed mechanism, so the employee doesn't have to decide the length and the duration of how the stimulation is going to happen. We've done that for them through our PLC process. Uh, we're also working on a linear actuator to pull spray cows. Uh, we're working on a leg spreader to be able to position cows better on rotaries and uh, also we've we've lately introduced a, ro a robot that will take our teat scrubber to the next level and be able to do it without a human being. Automation is being driven by the availability of labor and the, the labor's uh, desire to be able to work on dairies. We have to try to make it more conducive for people to want to be involved in our industry because our industry obviously is shrinking and that lends to be able to having more efficiency so we need to be able to have products that are easily trained and people can adapt to. Automation is going to be the basis of our success. I think we're going. our, our biggest challenges are creating automation that uh, general workers can accept and that can be trained readily and uh, be replicated.